Hi everyone, this is Dee. Um, this is going to be part two from Jeff Byerly's transcripts that I've been reading right along. I've been posting them one after another from 2017 and I'm up to 2019. And this one that I'm reading right now is very pertinent and very relevant to what's going to happen because it hasn't happened yet, but it is happening. So I bow my head, I bow my heart once again, um, asking the Lord, saying, Dear Lord God, May the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable in your sight, Lord God. As I continue reading, the only thing that will be great again about America will be her fall because she has forsaken me. Now, I believe and trust that these are the accurate words. These are bona fide words from Jesus Christ when he delivered them to his um, servant, our brother, Jeff Byerly. And he is um, still delivering messages to this very day to other um, male servants and female um, handmaidens, um, maidservants. So as a messenger, you know, I'm obligated and whatever is on my heart, I want to deliver the message. So I will not uh, delay anymore. I have a couple of minutes here for you. And uh, hopefully you saw part one. Uh, this is part two. So part two. During all this, I'm going to use initials, okay? During all this, a BHO will be welcome back to lead America, and most will put their trust in him. How foolish they will be. Excuse me for one quick second. I just want to look at something. Yep. Okay. Sorry about that. How foolish they will be found to be. How utterly foolish it is to trust in man instead of me. Um, he will absolutely do what his father Satan does best, steal, kill, and destroy, all the time smiling and lying. He will finally be allowed to accomplish his objective. As he departs, America will be attacked from the north while she is in total disarray and unable to defend herself. This is the final destruction in one hour by fire of Babylon the Great. The only thing that will be great again about America is her fall, exclamation mark. Because she has forsaken me, even in this I seek the repentance of each individual soul. National repentance will not take place. Judgment has been set. You know not the abundance of tears I have shed for you, but you have refused me. He's talking about America. Children, there is still a very small amount of time left to surrender all to me before this comes to pass watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all the things that will come to pass and to stand before the son of man we know this this is luke 21 36 these are prayers that i say all the time they're in my perpetual prayers to say to the lord um, my chosen remnant bride will escape the destruction to be used by me in the last harvest but even these have and will go through tribulation meaning trouble and testing to make them perfect even as i the captain of their salvation was perfected through sufferings uh, he gives us a reading hebrews 2 verse 10 my unselfish love in their hearts will be used to save many from the flames of the lake of fire Come to me in intimacy today and ask me to use you in this soon coming hour of trial for the whole earth, Revelation 3.10. And I'm quite sure that we went through this uh, a couple of years ago during the you know what. I think that was it, the trial that came upon the whole world. I will answer your prayers if they are truly from your heart with no selfish motive. I am the one who judges every motive, thought, and intent of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 Be cleansed by my blood and be transformed by renewing your mind by my spirit. This is your spiritual act of worship. This is my good, acceptant, good, sorry, this is my good acceptable, and perfect will for you. Romans 12.1-2 For I am a spirit. And those who worship me must worship in spirit and truth. John 4, 23. 
The time comes quickly, and no man can stop the judgment, for it is my will. Draw close to me and give all to me now. I want you all to suffer as little as possible. Listen to and be a doer of my words. I love all of you without measure. Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So that concludes that message. I just thought that was um, just very powerful. He told us everything that he just outlined everything that was going to happen. One thing right after another. I hope that you took it down. I hope that you wrote some keywords, some things down that we're going to be looking out for. I know that I have. I knew about this oh, a long time ago, years ago, because that's how the Lord operates. He tells us way in advance of things. So it's very easy to get a, you know, a heavy heart when you get all these things constantly on your heart. You know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. You just get kind of anxious about it. So, um, I thank you very much for listening today and tuning in. Thank you for being out there. And again, if there's anyone that needs lifting up in prayer, I'll be more than happy to do that. Thank you and have a blessed afternoon and evening.